Good day everyone, this is Christian Miranda and for this video I'm going to show you the comparison between the domestic marketing plan and global marketing plan. What is marketing? Marketing is the action or business of promotion and selling products or services including market research and advertising. Marketing can be a domestic marketing, international or global marketing. So before we proceed with the discussion on differences and similarities of domestic and global marketing, let us know first, what is domestic and global marketing? So domestic marketing it refers to marketing within the geographical boundaries of the nation, while global marketing is defined as the process of advertising the market strategies of your company to adapt to the condition of other countries. So now, here are differences between the domestic and global marketing. First is the culture. For domestic, culture is homogeneous since we are just dealing with only one country, the home country which definitely have one culture. For global marketing, being global means dealing with different countries with different cultures. Thus, culture for global marketing is heterogeneous. Next is the currency. For domestic marketing, it deals with uniform currency of the home country, while for global marketing, currency is complex. It considers the different currencies and exchange rates of each country. Global market sentiments affects the exchange rates globally. Economy for domestic marketing is stable and uniform, whereas for global, Economy may be variable and unpredictable because economy status depends upon the performance of each country. Government in domestic marketing has less interference than global marketing, which has high due to government protections and securities on their local suppliers that they implement some protections like the international trade barriers like export and import taxes. A single language for domestic marketing, while different languages and dialects for global marketing. Many medias and few restrictions on domestic marketing, while fewer medias and more restrictions for global marketing. Restrictions like the international trade barriers, the politics or governments, the culture and the environment. Domestic marketing also requires less resources needed compared to global marketing. It is because of the scope, the size of the market, the currency, and other financial factors to consider when we venture business globally. Being domestic, there is low or no international commitment, while there is an extensive international commitment for global marketing. In domestic marketing, it focuses on domestic consumers that resides in the home country, while in global marketing, it considers the world as one market and its focus are in all consumers globally. Then lastly, domestic marketing is ethnocentric, meaning home country practices will succeed elsewhere without adaptation. However, international marketing is viewed as secondary to domestic operations. While global marketing is regiocentric or geocentric, meaning it sees the world as one market and develops a standardized marketing strategy for the entire world. So now, the following are the similar similarities of domestic and global marketing. Whether trading domestically or globally, one common denominator that is considered is the customer satisfaction. Of course, this is very important in order to survive in the business industry. The next is the R&D or the research and development for product improvement and adaptation. Both markets should consider the improvement of its product or services so as to be competent and penetrate at least a big chunk of the target market. Building goodwill is required and is very important and liberal guarantees and after-sales service have to be provided on a massive scale to win over customers. 
So both for both domestic and global market, good customer relationship is very imperative and should be of major priority to withstand the strong competition. Then last is that they are the same in terms of non-human factors such as product, price, and cost, and etc. They both consider the aforementioned factors in trying to penetrate the either markets. So that was the differences and similar similarities of domestic and global marketing. I hope you learned something out of my presentation. Thank you for listening and God bless.